Again tonight with the latest on a Rhode Island city in crisis. Tonight it appears all options are on the table in Woonsocket as the city fights to avoid spiraling into bankruptcy. Early this morning the General Assembly wrapped up its legislative session without approving a 13% supplemental tax on Woonsocket residents that would have helped cut into a massive budget deficit. Now the city's state appointed budget commission says it's willing to do everything possible to avoid going bankrupt. Iowa News News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live from Woonsocket with the developing details. Details. Push is coming to shove here in Woonsocket with a 13% tax hike now out to help Woonsocket pay its bills. The talk now has shifted to how Woonsocket can survive without bankruptcy. We're all here to help the city. No one wants to see another municipality go into receivership, go into bankruptcy. The chairman of the Woonsocket Budget Commission late this afternoon speaking in the aftermath of yesterday's decision by Woonsocket state lawmakers to block a 13 percent supplemental tax increase to help Woonsocket dig out from under a pile of debt 10 million dollars deep. The number one goal right now, avoid bankruptcy. Bond ratings could be affected. It could be like a contagious effect. You know, one domino falls, all the dominoes fall. The chairman of Woonsocket City Council is suggesting that 10% pay cuts for all workers throughout city government in Woonsocket might solve the problem. The threat of bankruptcy, I, again, I don't see it as a rational threat, but I believe the people that live in the city and work in the city would want to do the right thing to get us through this, this time. You say not a rational threat, but nonetheless it's out there, and are you thinking that it might make negotiations easier, these 10% across the board pay cuts, it, easier with the idea of bankruptcy lingering in the background? It, it might, yes. It might, it might be helpful. I just wish we didn't have, have a sort of Damocles hanging over our heads to force us to do what we need to do. But if it helps, it helps. Another argument against immediate bankruptcy, at least, is the fact, and it is a fact, that simply having a budget deficit doesn't qualify a community for bankruptcy. It's way more complicated than that. Live in Woonsocket with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.